Well, hey everyone, Bo here from BZ Up. I thought today, it seems like everyone really loves blue crab. And so I thought to myself, well, maybe I'll just do a little video of uh, cruising around blue crab, uh, fishing, trying to catch some big fish. And, uh, you know, thought it would be kind of a nice little learning experience, you know? You might find some good places you haven't tried yet. You might, uh, find some good lures that you haven't tried yet. And, uh, you know, just like the beginner series, honestly. You know, coming back to blue crab, I've always enjoyed blue crab just for the variety of fish. And, uh, and the weather can be a difficult thing, but honestly, you just kind of need to move around and, uh, find what is working best. But I always enjoyed inshore fishing down in Florida in real life. And being able to do it in the game is just uh, an extension of that. So let's go catch some biggins, hit the like button, and let's get started. I was seeing some movement on the radar. But I'm not sure exactly where they are, so I thought I would just stop and... There we go, that's where they are. I was, I was seeing the movement on the radar and I thought, well, if I get over here, maybe I can uh, figure out where they're, where they're hiding. So, okay, cool. Radar showing them at the top of the water in the first, like, few feet. I'm just gonna keep that crank just kind of diving down about that, about that depth. Let's see if we get anything's attention. There we go. Look at that. It's a tarpon, I think. Didn't expect to catch that. And on the best rod in the game. <laughs> Good deal. There's tarpon in here. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. There's there's more back here, too. Well, shoot. We're just finding little honey holes here. Getting a couple big hits on the top water there. Let's turn this boat around and see if we can figure out where they are. I have found that I really like, just for probing around uh, blue crab, I really like uh, this buzz bait with the uh the little grub little uh twin tail spider grub you know the tarpon will go after grub uh i think the, even the red drum and the snook i mean it's a really good uh lure to just throw around you got the buzz bait so obviously hitting that top water for when you find them going on top water and then uh and then that grub i think it's just a really general uh lure to throw on there to get their attention obviously i think if you're wanting to single out one of the species, then you might need to change it up, but for when you're just trying to try some spots out, and uh, when you have some little bleeps on your radar telling you that there are fish around, I think it's a great uh, lure to try it with. Got some real big fish on the bottom of the radar, it says. <laughs> Dare I just drag this buzzbait along the bottom, and that's exactly Exactly where we found this fish. Ooh, good size snook. He looks like a trophy though Maybe yep trophy, but that was it. I mean buzzbait topwater lure, but versatile, you know versatile You know throw it out there you thinking you're gonna go topwater and then all of a sudden you see those blips on the bottom Drag that buzzbait along the bottom, you know, they'll go after it. I've done it with bass in real life. <laughs> Yeah, you throw it out there and you're uh, trying to get it to the top, but all of a sudden you see this bass chasing after it, you know. Keep it on the bottom. They'll grab it. Still got one going on the bottom here. Ooh! There we go. A little fish, though. But yeah, you can see it. You can see the bleeps along the bottom. That's where they are. I was just dragging this crankbait at max depth, basically, for what it can handle. I'm, I think I'm going to scoot back, too. I saw, I was standing here and I could see, you know, circles out. That would kind of be a giveaway that I'm not actually fishing the, the fish that are on my radar, but keep catching over here. Now that's interesting. That's actually showing me a change in depth and the fish seem to be around there. So maybe they're back in here or something. I'm not sure. We'll have to just cast around. Whoa, big, big fish. Yeah, that's another one. Well, there are some big fish around here. You can see them on the radar. But we keep catching these small snook. 
I'm thinking maybe I need to go up a crankbait size. Or something. That or just keep at it. Maybe I'll get one eventually. They're definitely going for it though. Going with a weird change up here. Throwing out the nymph. Six-hot hook though. My uh, six-hot crankbait is just a little, little big for that rod. And I have a uh, Carolina rig or something like that on this rod, so figured I'd just throw some, throw some other stuff. Yeah, we're catching fish. A little red drum here. Seventeen pounder. <laughs> Can't be mad when you're catching fish, even if they're small. Though it does make you wonder what you could be changing to get into those larger fish. Fish are still showing up on the radar, though they're not really biting from that side anymore. I might throw over here. Whee! There's a fish. Little guy. That's actually a little red drum here. Nice, 20 pounder. All these fish, even though they're small, they're, uh, you know, they're 20 pounds or so. And fill up your keep net pretty quick if you don't bring a big, uh, big enough keep net to blue crab, that's for sure. Let's see if we were just sitting on top of them or something. No, there's the same two blips that we kept seeing. Boy, something went after it there. Couldn't really make out what it was. Even all these fish say they're on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Still came up to grab it. I guess six feet's really not super deep. If they were sitting on the bottom, they'd probably still notice it. Dragging along on the top. Let's see if we can get it. Go after it a second time. There he is, yeah. A little snook. That was a bonefish. Yeah, a little, little guy. I'm not getting any attention. Let's go ahead and move spots. I'm ready to get out of here. All right, still not fishing the island. I know there's probably some people out here going, why are you fishing the island? The island is the best. And that's because I, I love the island, but you get to a point where you find yourself only fishing the island. Ooh, there's a fish right there. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Find yourself only fishing the island, and uh, soon enough your bites start decreasing and you're wondering why the heck am I not catching as many fish at the island anymore? Sometimes you just gotta mix it up. Sometimes the weather is better for uh, fishing them on certain days and whatnot. These guys are on the bottom. It says six feet right now. Might switch to the crankbait. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take this buzzbait and just uh, and treat it like a spinnerbait. The fish don't seem to care for the most part. Do a little stop and go like this. Ooh, got a tap. Tip tap, tip tap. Oh, it swam off, I saw it. There we go. Ooh, big snook, big snook. Oh, it's a monster snook, bro. Let's go. Yes, man. Yes, man. I'd hit the, the, the unicorns, but I don't have them on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have them on just my gaming recording. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, blue crap. I'm telling you, this place is beautiful. Let's go. Let's see what this guy looks like. You can always tell when you have those big snook on. You're like, yep, that's a big one. That's a big snook. So awesome. If I would have got that on my uh, bass rod, that would have been quite a fight too, but uh, since we had it on our tarpon rod, which is just kind of what I had hooked up at the moment. But yeah, it didn't, didn't, uh, didn't do much. Didn't do much, did it? Let's go ahead and move a little bit. Got that, uh, that bug there that won't let us move. Trying to think of what I want to do now. If I want to stick with this or if I want to change it up. I think I am going to change it up. We're going to go with the larva. Different fish like this larva. And uh, I think we actually got a unique bonefish on it one time. So I figured we'd uh, give it a go. It 
might work even if I put it back on the buzz bait and tried that, but since those fish were showing on the bottom, I figured I would just kind of do a little movement like so. Carolina rig, but that didn't get any attention at all. Oh, jeez. He's definitely going to throw something on me this time. He's like going straight over top of us. That man. He's got to be the most bored, retired person in the world. He just constantly flies over this place. Constantly. Get another hobby. Like fishing or something. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to try out the island for a little bit. Better go throw some bait in. I'm not really sure. Decisions, decisions. Ooh, two big fish. Ugh. That's the thing about blue group. Ugh. There's big fish everywhere. So it's hard to just like stop at every single blip you get that's big. Well, I think I'm gonna give this one more cast here. If we don't get anything, I think I'm gonna go try to bait up and see if we can catch anything on the bait. Well, we've got all the rods out there, but there's no movement on the water, so it makes me wonder if this is gonna be a waste of time. <laughs> this must just not be the day. I'm, I'm making notes for all the different days and what fish I'm catching, but this must not be the day for uh, bank fishing. We'll, we'll just have to see. Wow, that was immediate. Didn't even give us any time to like react. All of a sudden, he was just on there. This is a scaled sardine, so it could be a number of different fish, but it looks like it's a permit. Pretty decent sized permit, it looks like anyway, maybe a trophy. Ooh, getting some extra beeping going on. Two for one deal. I know everyone who shows up to a live stream, they always tell me their favorite part of it is the beeping. And I understand, it is amazing. There we go, a little trophy permit. These guys are pretty. Pretty wily. Keeping him. Yeah, there's another bite. This is the large cut bait. Specifically, what it's supposed to be is uh, red drum going after the large cut bait. And that's what we got. I specifically chose large cut bait because I knew the red drum liked it. I would go ahead and throw this out, but I'm feeling like just chasing fish down right now. Got some decent drag on this guy. Another red drum. Assuming a trophy, but we'll just have to see. Pretty good size one, though. Yep, trophy red drum, 47 pounds. That's a nice size one. It's a good size red drum. And that was on the large minnow, too. That will work. At least we're getting fish. I was kind of worried that we wouldn't get anything at all. <laughs> Ooh, more beeping. More beeping. There's a tarpon this time. Little tarpon, little baby. 30 pound, 30 pound, 26 pound. Ah, pretty close, pretty close. Good deal. Goodness gracious, it wasn't 30 seconds and we already got another one on the scaled sardine. Another permit. This one looks smaller though. And he's not fighting as hard either. deal and just like that day turns into night <laughs> as far as my experience goes at blue crab even though it says the bite is gonna be amazing I never end up catching anything if I do it's maybe one fish over the entire night one or two fish at that I don't know I just have horrible luck fishing at nighttime uh, when it comes to bait um, but Hopefully, maybe you have good luck, and if you do, comment it down below, but I guess this has been one day fishing with Bo out in Blue Crab. I enjoyed it. Maybe we'll make this a little series. One day fishing with Bo. We'll just, we'll just spend a day out fishing somewhere, 
and I'll just kind of do my regular thing and yeah it might be kind of fun I don't know comment down below let me know if you did enjoy it hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future if this was helpful or whatever in any way if you want to show up to a live stream Monday Wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m. Central uh, would really enjoy it uh, sometimes ooh, 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 ooh. sometimes we go hunting sometimes we go fishing we just kind of mix it up there we go we got a fish on buddy fish on buddy on the large cut bait. Ooh, pulled some line out there, but I think it's still small. I think he's still small. What do we got? Oh, that's a that's a black drum. Trophy black drum at that. Ooh. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you next time, everyone. Take care, and as always, remember, we're one planet, one family. Game on.